Oh. All right, another great day, right? Yeah. <coughs> Happy Tuesday, right? Yeah. Who remembers what we talked about yesterday? Truck parking. Truck parking, right? Not a little bit of a sore subject, but we went through a bunch of different things and, and the reasons why it's important, things that we can do to help minimize the problems with parking, right? So with that, I have some updates. We, we talked in the RMD on Huddle this morning. Um, we've gotten some commitment from Shane and Roger helped Shane out this morning. They're going to go and they're actually going to put stickers in a window. Just like an oil change, they're going to number them in the upper left hand corner of the windshield. Um, so everybody knows where the truck parking goes. Oh, it'll just be on YouTube. It's okay. You can silence your phones now. All right. So they're going to put the stickers up there so we know exactly where to park them. So the drivers know, the wash bay people know, and obviously we know. Um, there are some hurdles with some down trucks, but we'll work through those. Um, Roger, you want to lead in what you did this morning with Shane? Sit around. He was with Shane, so. Um, moved, Sorry, Major had him working. Move Jeremy's junk out of the way for you. Yeah, hey, that's everyone's junk, so go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your name written all over. Hey, your name written all over. Get your ass out there. So, how'd you help out this morning? Get trucks moved around, trying to locate. We actually mark some of the curves so they're going pretty pretty tight down that end. Okay. And uh, I think we need one gas line put in down there. So I don't know that what on the, on the very far end? Yeah, like three deals up. We got a single one there. Okay. Does it have it? in for the two. So I mean, all it just needs is the old run and the bungee deal. Okay. <clears throat> so, oh, because they're all the Parker ones, right? So the self restraint. We, we could see if we could put a, a sway flock potentially up in there and see if that would work temporarily until we get them out here. Uh, that's something potentially we can look at this afternoon. So, obviously, we got trucks. Do they all fit? I believe it's going to. I think we may have room where we're tightening them up to get Eddie's truck in there. Okay. That won't fuel. You know, doesn't need to fuel. Okay. So, they're going to they're gonna continue to tweak this. And they're hoping by, by Monday morning everything's all set. All the stickers are in the trucks and everything's set in place. The drivers got all the information that they need to put them where they need to put them. Right? And obviously, like I said before, we'll overcome the hurdles when we get to them. Down trucks, this, that, and the other. We'll talk through those and, and communicate with everybody. But what's the one thing that we need to do if we find something? Somebody else is parked somebody else's spot. What's the one thing that we need to do? Tell our supervisor. Oh, that's it. Just tell somebody. Right? So if you come tell somebody, then we can go relay the information and find out why. Find out the reason, and if it's not a good reason, then we can correct that behavior. All right? So with that being said, obviously we said today was what? I said it was Tech Tuesday, but you got it, Randy. So since you want to kick it off, what you got for us today, Randy? Um, so last week I had a truck, a roll-off, okay. and it had an early on the cab. Okay. It was the foot travel valve. It was the foot brake valve. So the foot valve? Yeah, the foot valve, one of the uh, fittings on there was leaking. And I was having a hard time getting to it. And I talked to one of the techs, and he was, you know, kind of gave me instruction to uh, take the fender off the quarter fender right there. Mm -hmm. and use a 15, 16 stubby wrench. Okay. It, it made it uh, able to manage. I was able to manage with it, so, you know, that's pretty much it. So that's the trick of the trade, how to get to the foot valve, tighten yeah. it up? Okay, yeah. good deal. Scott, you got something for us today? Uh, when running the overhead, just be there. All, be sure they're all consistent. Okay. So nine liters and twelve liters, correct? Yeah. Any engine, for the most part, is the same thing. So just consistency when it comes to that. <laughs> Jeremy, you're clearing your throat. I figured you're getting ready to talk. So. Not really. Uh, your sheet block rollers on the inside of the sheet blocks, a lot of times when they lock up, if you actually get the sheet block out and cut it open, you'll find the brass bushing inside the roller. And the brass is so soft that it will smush out and be a mushroom on the end, which will lock down that roller inside the sheet block. When the cable's got a lot of tension on it, it will break it loose to roll it. But by hand, when you check it before putting a cable bag on it, you won't be able to move it. So once you cut everything open, pull that roller out, you take a grinder, grind that brass back down, do a little recess in, put everything back together, put it back on the truck, or roll it just like that. Perfect. That's a, that's a great tip. Mike, what you got for us today? Pulling uh, 
wheel bearing races out of the hub. Okay. You'll have to do it on aluminum, but even on the steels, you can weld a bead right around the race and it'll shrink it up just a little bit and then you can knock them out. Comes out pretty easy then, right? Yeah. Good deal. Troy, you got something for us this week? Yeah, fire extinguishers. I got with you about it. Uh, they, uh, they check the date on them, man. They got a little silver card or a yellow card. They'll tell the date they're good for one year. The company we're using right now is just sticking them on and they're falling off. So I got some ties to put them. But that's, you don't go by the date on the fire extinguisher itself. No. You're I know that last week when you guys helped us, they were going by the date on the fire extinguisher. Okay. Good deal. And we get and we replenish fire extinguisher. I know we were a little wore out. So so we got the pie barker, got them to come back out here and restock us. Uh, obviously while we're working through switching vendors. So Trevor, what you got for us this week? I guess something I got taught a long time ago, and I've only one saying this because I've noticed a couple of them that were leaking on those reusable fittings for your hydraulic fittings, especially for like tarp arm lines or whatever. Uh, <coughs> Putting on, so before you actually put your end fitting on, you have to uh, left hand screw it onto the hose. People aren't running them down all the way, okay. so it's allowing fluid to get by and leak out the end of the reusable. So you got to make sure you get it down in there as tight as you can, and then you can put your other fitting together and go. Good, great tip, Roger. What you got for us today? Freight liner. <coughs> if it has a low coolant code. We'll have to take the laptop and clear that coat. It will not clear it. So if you go on road calls, replace the coolant hose on the front liner, you to take a laptop because you still get the water and fill up the coolant. Now is that on the old <coughs> ones as well? <coughs> on the older ones as well? On all of them we've got. Okay. It's a good deal. So that's for everybody to know. Obviously if we got to go out on a road call and do that, take the laptop with you. Victor, we saved the best for last. What you got for us? Uh, not really nothing new, but it's the in, anti-index sleeves. Okay. Make sure we got those on uh, five studs on every wheel position. So the okay. minimum was four. Is the minimum was four? Yeah, minimum was one. Or be every other one. Every other one, yeah. Minimum of four. Minimum of four. Every other one's a good, good best practice to have. So we talked a lot of, about a lot of good stuff in here today. So can we get? Three key takeaways. Can we go back to index leaves? So we only have four in stock because we haven't replenished them. We are allowed to run four. Yes. Okay. Okay. But we should never get to that point. We got plenty of anti indexing sleeves. So. Well, the ones back there we have right now actually run into a mist truck are not the same size as the ones that's already on there. Okay. We'll look, but we'll look back there because I guarantee there's more hiding somewhere. Okay. You just might not know where to find them. Um, and if not, because we just had this conversation yesterday when we, when we put it in order, so we'll, we'll fix that real quick, quick and easy. So, two or three good takeaways from today. Randy, what you going to take away from today? Um, the right tool for the job. <laughs> okay, yeah, for the 15, 16, 15, 16 stuff, right? Stubby, right? Yeah, so yeah, the right yeah. tool for the right job. Mike, what do you got for us? Uh, Okay, so that's a good one to take away. What do you What do you got, Troy? She's on a roll off. Try to move them by hand. Okay, so perfect. All right, so last thing we got safety message. Who's got one? Always use jack stands to support the truck. Man. <laughs> Like it spelled, you're right too, huh? All right, that's all I got, guys. Great day. Let's get after it.